don't allow others' narrow views and limitations become your narrow views and limitations. Think of all the people who don't believe something is possible, and then you accept them as being right, and then it's not possible. Why don't you seek out people who believe things are possible, and then it is possible? One of the things that we've learned is a reality begins when you visualize it, when you focus on it, when you put your energy into seeing something that you want to experience, then it becomes real. And stop the distractions and limitations. Push them out. Every time a distraction comes in, says no. Look at your schedule. A to-do list is the ultimate distraction. A to-do list substitutes for a real life. At the end of a year, how many things on a to-do list have you done, and you're no better off because of it? You're no closer to self, but you've got a whole lot of exhaustion from a whole lot of to-do lists marked off. It is not what you achieve on a day-to-day -day level that is relevant, because most of what we achieve is irrelevant to who we are. It is merely forms of, of structured distractions. So we have to realize that we're not going to allow anyone's limitations to become ours. And all the people I grew up with, they accept the limitations of how they should look at themselves and life and circumstances, politics and nature, and now they just became a part of it. When you don't accept anyone else's limitations, you're not limited by them. I look at including things in life, not excluding.